the Spaniard. Really good stuff from Paris Diaz. One set away now, potentially, from a title here in North Carolina. Yep. Very. Toilet break, please. Thank you. Could you tell him we need a stack? Tell. Tell, yeah. A couple more, because the uh, sweat. Yeah, thanks. Ball boys, can I, I need you on court? Ball kids, ball kid, ball kids, I need you on court, please. Can, 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 I need somebody on court to grab these balls. We're going to have some practice serves, okay? Can you, can you pass those in? Just gather those in. Okay, 
Okay, bring the balls in, please. Thank you. Bring those balls in. Roll it in. Thanks. Bring the balls in. Put them all in the box. No, no, no. There's not the match. They're not the match balls. So after that first set, the two seed, Renata Zarazua, went off court to change. Just excellent shot. And when Paredes Diaz is striking the ball and keeping it in consistently, so tough to beat. 33 years old from Spain. Just not able to finish a couple of these points. 30-15 for the two seed for Hanata Zarazua. 26 years old from Mexico City, Mexico. Just teeing off on that second serve. Maritza Diaz did a good job. Made that look easy. That's a tough swinging volley. Even though she's close to the net, definitely. Made that look easier than it is. Chance for Zarazua. Kick things off with a hold in this set. Lost the first set, 6-3. Able to generate a couple errors like that with Paritas Diaz striking the ball so aggressively, just giving Sarzua really practically a very small chance to be able to comfortably defend and get the balls back.
Maritza Diaz talking to her coach, Axel Tabarot. They've worked together for just one month, second tournament. of that time was Zarazua. Second chance for the Mexican woman here to hold. We're just not used to seeing Zarazua make mistakes like that. I think she definitely knows, though, that Paritas Diaz is going to capitalize on anything short, so it makes you think twice whenever you're hitting any ball, really. Again, really nice drop shot from Zarazua. So down a set to the Spaniard, Baritzas Diaz, but she's two in one lifetime against Baritzas Diaz. And if Zarazua could win this title, it'd be her first of the year. It'd be her second biggest title in her career in terms of singles play. In December of this past year, she won a 125 event in Montevideo, Uruguay. Should be the top seed, Diane Perry, in the final of that. And for Zarazua, she's ranked 97 in the live rankings. If she wins today, she'll get up to 93. Baritza's Diaz. 104 in the live rankings right now. She could win tonight. She would crack the top 100. She's been as high as 45 in the world. That was back in 2022. And Zarazua, she's got a tattoo on her left arm of the Five circles for the Olympic Games. Was able to play the Olympic Games for Mexico, representing Mexico in 2021 in Tokyo. Shame there, really. Zarazua did so well defending. Ran around her forehand, did her backhand there. Just couldn't finish.
And that's more like it for Sarazua. You think she's got to play some more offensive tennis. Sitting back right now, Paritza's Diaz is just too good when you give her this many openings. Really nice stuff there. So all nodded at one in the second set. It was that woman dominant in the first set, winning at 6-3. We apologize that we don't have our score on there. Thanks for watching this match. Rob Werner with you. Whether you're watching on ITF TV or however you're streaming, thanks for being with us. Final match here at the 10th Annual Cary Tennis Classic in Wake County, North Carolina. Zarazua looking to keep it on serve the last time she went back to back games was early in the first set when she was down 3-1 got two back Tremendous level there. And you wonder if it's creeping into Paritz Diaz's mind at all. She's lost the last counter against Arzua. She's one and two against this talented Mexican lady. She's going to be in the top 100 either way, win or lose, on Monday.
Gris. So Pirates Tiaz battles back, saves two game points. Can she keep the momentum going? Or can that lady, the two seed, Renata Zarazua, get back into this match? Great chance here for the Spaniard, 33 years old. Three and three this year at the WA, WTA tour level is Baritas Diaz. 17 and 10 below that at the ITF level. Yes. This is Slaps a forehand winner, goes up 2 1. Oh. 
1540. Can Bright's as Diaz hold on to this break she just got? Consolidate it? The 26-year-old from La Ciudad de Mexico, Mexico City, Mexico. Not giving up anything. Two break points. Excellent feel there from Zarazua. Got a little luck from the net, but she will certainly take that. Just blistering balls. And Paritas Diaz, if she can just keep this level of play up, it seems awfully hard to think how Zarazua can come back. Good one two punch there. So if you're just joining us, Zarazua broke in the very first game of the match, but basically after that it was all Paritas Diaz, the Spaniard. She won the set six games to three. Two all right now. Zarazua, two game points. Yes. 
Zarazua leads three games to two. Zarazua out ahead. Second set, keep it here. Ladies championship match, Carrie Tennis Classic. Aren't they any good? Alastair. Darren, please, for Gigi. For Darren. Darren, a request from Renata if uh, any better bananas can be found than the one on court. They're sort of average. If there's anything uh, newer, banana, that would be appreciated. And you just wonder. Fair party says yes, but she's starting to think of the finish line. Four games away. She was up 2 1 with a break in hand. Two games in a row for the two seed from Mexico. Zarazua. <laughs> Big serve. Nice forehand. Swinging volley. This is what she does. The number one Mexican player in the world. Came into this tournament at 103 in the rankings, currently 97 in the live rankings. So she missed the serve, but actually, foot fault was called. Starting to get upset. Here's the Spaniard. Looks like she's going to change rackets. Puts the dampener back in to the fresh bat. Zarazua plays with Blue Babby, Babalot. Paritzas Diaz plays with a black head racket. Zarazua now three, three games in a row. Break in hand. In the first set, though, she had a 3 1 lead. Serving. Can you put one on there, John, please? One on her Last. Seat. A good one. Thank Five you. games in a row. Thank you. Not good enough for that drop shot. Both these labor ladies really good movers.
For Zarazua, when she cracked the top 100 in the world this year in January, she became just the second Mexican woman to get there. The other was Angelica Galvedon in 1996. Again, she's played in three Guys, of the four your voice is a Grand Slams. Thank you. Only one she hasn't played in is the U.S. Open in the main draw. She's going to be in the main draw of it next week. Chance to get the break right back. Stop the momentum a little bit. Really nice work there from Zarazua. Zarazua, the two seat here at the Kerry Tennis Classic. Seemed like she just rushed herself there to the Spaniard. So two break points come and gone. Zarazua, so nice and compact on that backhand wing. 20, 26 years old from Mexico City, Mexico. You see the New Balance shoes? Feels like a really big game here. Is the Spaniard going to be able to break back? Keep this within reach? Or is Zarazua going to win her fourth straight game? Currently at four games to two in the second set. Down one set already. First ace of the match for Zarazua. Chance to extend the lead here. Zarazu extends the lead. Five games to two. And now just one game away from sending us to a third set. We're going to stay through this commercial. Try to do this during the last match, but it wasn't successful. We want to thank some of the people that don't get the attention they deserve. 
Our staff putting on these matches has worked over 30 matches this week. They've had a much tougher job than me. They've done every single match on center, not just the ones broadcasted on TV. And some of those people, Simone, Eleonora, Alicia, Paola, Daniel, team leader Davide, and Giuseppe Martellone, our director, we so appreciate their help. They do so much in setting up these trains. You guys wouldn't even be able to really watch without the work they do. Putting in 10 to 15 hour days. We really appreciate everything they've done for us here this week in Cary, North Carolina. Tournament directors who put on this tournament, Ted Reese and Sean Ferreira. Reed Kinlaw, one of the head pros here at the Cary Tennis Center, but he's been in charge of just about everything on the facility side all week. Thanks, of course, to our executive producer of broadcasting, Josh Mizells. Rob Warner here, and it's been my pleasure to be with you all week doing this tennis. Renata Zarazua, up five games to two in the second set. Trying to send us to a third set. And for Paris Diaz, big game it feels like. Try to hold. Try to at least make Zara Zua, who doesn't have the biggest serve, serve it out on her side. Second foot fault so far in this match for Paris Diaz. Three points to hold for 5-3. So serving for the set now is Arzua. Currently 78 degrees here in Cary, North Carolina. Humidity's just gone up and up, 85% now. So just two aces in the match, both coming in the last two games. These ladies have already been on court for an hour and 31 minutes. And Zarazua just getting more and more confident as this match has gone on. Mm 
Four ahead of the distance. And Renata, Renata Zarazua, the Mexican number one. And the lady who came into this week at 103 in the world. You can go, but you have to be back before Takes the second set. We're ahead of the distance. Keep it here. Carry Tennis Classic. Rob Warner with you guys. Get a, a, one of you to come, please.
you're just joining us. Women's championship action here on Saturday night under the lights at the Cary Tennis Classic, 10th annual. And first year that this is a combined event, 100 level event with men's and women's play. Paritas Diaz, she won the first set. Comfortably 6-3 and then And then led 2-1 serving with a break in hand, just four games away. And from that point on, it's been all Zarazua. Five straight games, excuse me. Paritz Diaz did hold to make it 5-3. Five, five out of six games, I should say. Just really high quality from both these ladies tonight. Concluding the coverage of our tournament after this set. It's been another really good year for the Cary Tennis Classic. Paritz Diaz, 33 years of age from Granada, Spain. Came into this week ranked 116. Currently 103 in the live rankings. If she wins tonight, she'll be back in the top 100. Either way for Zarazua, she's going to get back in the top 100 after this match came into the week. Zarazua came into the week at 103. 14, 15. Good hold from the Spaniard. These two have played three times previously. Zarazu is two and one in the head-to-head. -head. Most recently, they played in cl on clay in Rome at the Italian Open. Zarazu won that in streets. The one time, though, they played on a hard court, it was Paris Diaz coming through. That was at the Billie Jean King Cup in 2023. Zarazua, such a fighter. And when she cracked the top 100 this year in January, she became just the second Mexican woman to get there after Angelica Galvadon in 1996. Impressive stuff to say the least from the 26 year old from Mexico City, Mexico. Is she can just take the racket out of your hand. Such good racket head acceleration. Feels like Zarazua was doing more of that in the second set. Able to generate more pace, hit her spots a little bit better. 
She's been so solid all week. She's dropped just two sets, including the set tonight. But Barnett's Diaz whole week. You see just how well she can play. I mean, she's been 45 in the world. That was back in 2022. This is her fifth final of her career above the 100 level. Oh. She's reached the third round of a major twice. That was the Australian Open in 2022 and 23. You can just see how good she can be when she's clicking. Thank you. Her last event, Marias Diaz. She won, that was on clay in Spain. Diaz saves the game point. Bad forehand, probably the biggest weapon on the women's side this week. Just a cannon when she connects properly. Big game, it felt like also there. Gigi Gregory, chair umpire, just explaining that on the scoreboard, a little bit behind here on stadium court. 10.50 local time here in Cary, North Carolina. These ladies battling for the championship at the Terry, the Cary Tennis Classic. What an angle that time from the Spaniard. <laughs> Thank you. 
compliment. So two six three sets so far, one for each lady. Paritz Diaz winning the first, Zara Zua the second. Tough to say really who to favor here in this third. seen a lot of that from the Mexican lady, Zara Zua. Really good hands. She hasn't come to net much, but it's been tough to against the power of Baritz Diaz. Two chances now for Paris Tiza to go ahead. Game. And she does. Early stages here this final set. Championship to be decided. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sarah Zua, who is now receiving the medical tournament. Two minutes remaining.
Ladies and gentlemen, the service room is receiving a second medical timeout. Two minutes remaining. You're going to take those balls with you, ball girl. Thanks a lot. Zarazua receiving two medical timeouts, down 1-2 in this third set. And you just wonder how each lady's going to handle that. Zarazua definitely not wanting to take any chances a week away from she makes her main draw debut at the US Open. And Bardic Diaz. She was back ready. Standing at the baseline for the entire second medical timeout. She can get two different medical timeouts if they're on different injuries. Can't get two on the same injury. You just hope that for Zarazua, she's not. She doesn't have to pull out of this if anything gets worse. Approaching two hours in this match, an hour and 57 minutes so far. Good hands and a smile from Barret Diaz. I don't think she could believe that Sarazu went right at her. I 
Zarazua had the entire court. That's the coach of Paris Diaz, Axel Tabarot. He's been with her for just one month. In that first month, they've already won a title together. That was on the clay of Gran Canaria just a couple weeks ago. And a point for Zarazua to even this third set score. These ladies traded six three sets. Paritz Diaz, Paritz Diaz won the first. Sarah Zua took the second six three. And from game point up, Zarazua now facing a break point. She grabs the break. Three games to one. It's Perez Diaz with a break in hand now. First of this third set. New racket, new bat for Zarazua. That time, Zarazu and not going at Barrett's Diaz. And hitting it harder either way. Very mild mannered is Hanata Zarazua, 26 year old Mexico woman, Mexican woman. Just grimacing a little bit now is Arazua. Wonder if she's cramping or if something's not feeling right. Already received two medical timeouts in this third set. So huge moment here. Paritz Diaz, Paritz Diaz just broke 
trying to consolidate the break. Can't make that forehand though. And break point now for the two seed. Zarazua. Third foot fault of the night for the Spaniard. Double fault there. Zara Zoo on offense that time. <laughs> Speaking to Zara Zua before the match, she said this is a perfect test. She gets a week off after this to go make her main draw debut at the U.S. Open. Diaz. She's played so well this week, dropped just one set coming into this match. I give credit to both these ladies, but Zara Zua impressing me with the fact that you just can't tell what she's thinking. She hasn't gotten down on, on herself, hasn't gotten too high when she won the second set. Carolina kicking off just a fantastic week at the Cary Tennis Classic. Tenth annual edition of this tournament. First time women are with the men here. Combined event this year.
So from 15, 32 straight points. As you see Zarazu is coach. That's Damien Patriarca, the Argentine. stuff that time from Baritz Diaz. Give credit to these ladies for staying around. Men's final took two hours and 53 minutes. Roman Safulin coming through in a long, hard-fought match over the qualifier. Talented Italian man, Mattia Bellucci. Two hours and ten minutes so far in this women's championship match. who's going to be able to handle the tail end of this match. Over two hours already played. Zarazua with a double there. 26-year-old from Mexico City. Zarazua, either way, she'll be in the top 100 after this match. Came into this event at 103 in the world, currently 97 in the live rankings. If she wins, she would set a new career high, reach 93 in the world. She's been as high as 95 in the world. game here. Third deuce already. These two have played three times before. Zarazua, two and one in those three meetings. She won the last one. Last time these two played was in Rome, Italy, at the Italian Open. Zarazua winning on clay there. Paritz Diaz took out Zarazua at the Billie Jean King Cup in 2023. to the ground, but I think in a way that's what she means she's doing well, Miss Bardas Diaz. Oh, 
Both players just battling. Sarah Zua, when she reached the top 100 this year in January, she became just the second Mexican woman to ever accomplish that feat. Right off the line was that backhand. Trying to keep pave the way, not just for the women, but for tennis in Mexico. Did you see it? Yeah. Can we send that again, please, Saga? Pirates Tiaz wants to see that Hawkeye image, of the backhand that Zarazua hit. Same one you see right off the line. Zarazua grabs a fresh racket, fresh strings. Jay Lewin, Lewandowski, he's the lead stringer for game set match. He's been handling all these strings for the pros this week, men's and women's. He's had a good team helping him out. So who's going to come through this one? Feels so close right now. Three games all. of return from Zarazua. Big time racket throw from the Spaniard. Quick warning given out there by line umpire, excuse me, chair umpire GG Gregory. for the two seed for Zarazua. Bardi's Diaz. She knows that if she smacks a racket one more time, she's gonna get a point penalty now. Yeah. 
Please. Poor drop shot. Sarazua. Up a break now. 4-3. Four, four games to three. Zara Sir Zua serving with new balls. Fifteen. So Pirates CS, she broke for three one for the advantage. Three games in a row for the two seed for Zara Zua since then. And the steady Zarazua. She's just kept her cool all night, no matter when she's fallen behind. She's done such a good job managing this match. Feels like she knew it would be a battle. Next. And Pirates, yes, she's just not able right now to attack the way she has been. Just starting to miss. Three points for Zara Zua to be, get just one game away. And again, Zarazua just outlasting the Spaniard. Zarazua leads five games to three. She can taste now just one game away. A two seed. Hanata Zarazua. 
26 years old. Came into the week at 103 in the world. Win or lose, she's going to get back into the top 100 in the world. She's going to play in the U.S. Open in two weeks. Just nine days away from the main draw at the U.S. Open. And really just struggling with that four times tonight. Foot fault called on Paris Diaz. more like it from Paritzias. In her third final of the year. Good drop shot here. Way too much air under it. Zarazua sits down with a 5-4 lead. She'll serve for the championship when we come back. Thank you for being with us, whether that be on ITF TV or however you're streaming this match. Carry Tennis Classic, 10th Annual. First time it's a combined event, men's and women's, for this 100-level tournament. Oh. Zarazua 
the two seed here in Cary. 26 year old from Mexico City. Trying to close things out right here. been the controlled placement from Zarazua against the big hitting Neria Paritz Diaz. Paritz Diaz. Jumped out to a 3-1 lead here in this third set. Four games in a row for Zarazua before Paris Diaz held to make that lady, Zarazua, try to serve it out. Such nice tennis there. Such good hitting. Thank you. And courageous for the Spaniard. Barely clear in the net. Going for big shots. Zara Zua, she's handled herself so well. She always does. Doesn't get too high or low. from 15.30 down break point here such a tough customer Pirates Diaz you definitely didn't feel like she was just going to stand down and give up at the end First real sign of nerves there from the two seed from Zarazua. Double fault to give away the game when she's serving for the championship. First, first final of the year for Hanata Zarazua. Third final of the year for Baritz Diaz. Two games in a row. All not at five all now.
it's going good or bad, you know. Looking at that lady at Barrett's Diaz. Well, here's her emotion on her sleeve. 33-year-old from Granada, Spain. Two game points now for Paris, yes. One of the better backhands of the match for Zarazua. 40, 40. Just hitting the side of the line is Baritz Diaz. Just catching a piece of the line. And from up 5-3 to down 5-6, it's Zarazua now serving to stay in this championship. Ladies and gentlemen, we're unable to show the bounce on the screens at the side of the chair, but we can confirm the ball is in. Zarazua, last time she served was just two points away at 30-15 from winning this championship. Serving now to stay in the match.
Such high quality stuff. <laughs> two hours and 39 minutes. These two have battled. It's been a roller coaster the whole way. You wouldn't know it though, just looking at the body language of Hanata Zarazua. Two straight points for the Spaniard. And Naria Barretz Diaz on the verge of breaking and winning here in Kerry. Just catching a sliver of the line 40, 40. on that first forehand. It gives Arzu a chance to take us to a third set tiebreak. Just massive forehand. Championship point now for Nuria Paredes Diaz at 11.46 local time. And after two hours and 43 minutes. heard from Zarazua tonight. Yells Vamos. Saves the championship point. The 2 c 26 years old out of Mexico. From the capital, Mexico City. Now a chance, game point here for Zarazua to send us to the final stage we can go, third set tiebreak. Thank <laughs> you. 
some notice two games ahead that's um, unfortunately the problem I know I know but you can't you can't change it now it's it's it's, it's a tie break it's too late Gigi Gregory or chair umpire I, mean, I understand but you know the, the, the timing as Arazua grabs a fresh racket tries to wipe off Any balls? the handle of her racket 77 degrees here. 90% humidity now. left and the ability to finish this off. Paritz Diaz had a championship point in the last game. Not a good drop shot that time. Big second serve. Excuse me. Big first serve there from Zarazua, but not able to handle the plus one ball. in a row for the Spaniard. And for Zarazua, she's handled this match so well in terms of her emotions. Can she fight back once again? She's already saved one championship point. Five points in a row for Pirates Diaz. Diaz, 
twin converter first championship point. That was in the last service game for Zarazua. But she's been just dominant in this third set tie rig. Up 5 1. Championship points for Nuria Baritz Diaz. 33 year old from Granada, Spain. She was down 5 3 in this set. Zara Zua served for the match at 5 4. you thought Zarazu was just going to lay down, you certainly haven't been watching all night. Still four more championship points, though, for Baritz Diaz. You see what it means to her. Nuria Baritz Diaz takes out Renata Zarzua in this absolute marathon of a final two hours and 53 minutes as she goes over to embrace her coach, Axel Taborot. Their first month working together and in their first two tournaments, they win both of them. The 33-year-old has been as high as 45 in the world. That was back in 2022. She's going to get back inside the top 100. And what a moment for her. First winner, first women's winner in Cary Tennis Classic history. That's going to do it for us, though. It's been a really great week. It's been my pleasure to be with you all week, bringing you the 10th annual Cary Tennis Classic trophy presentation to come thank you very much for watching and for Rob Warner saying so long for all of us here at the Cary Tennis Classic thank you for being with us Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, it's been a great match. We're going to do the trophy presentation. And it's my pleasure to introduce the Mayor of Cary, Harold Weinbrecht. Thank you, Ted. We've had a great week of our first ITF World Tennis Tour. 
uh, ladies here this week, culminating with an amazing championship match that uh, couldn't have been more entertaining. I want to thank everyone that was involved in putting this tournament on, including our sponsors, our volunteers, our ball boys and girls, even the stringers up there that kept bringing the rackets back. Thank you so much for making this happen, and we look forward to seeing all of you back here next year. Thanks, Harold. Also, want to recognize our chair umpire, Gigi Gregory from England. Gigi, 